السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نوعي طوار بيان توزن حسبنا مدد يا سعيد والسيف شابك انك بسي يا رباني مدد we are asking support from our share to send us something that is going to benefit us and to others without him sending we cannot speak without him sending something we cannot say anything that is going to benefit anyone we are sitting here we're able to say we're able to listen because of his spiritual support that he is sending from the Sultan al -Awliya. and we are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala endlessly for that Our destiny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving chance to change it. As long as we have the breath in our body to change our destiny. If the destiny is everything is cannot change, every single, every single, every single thing you cannot change, then why Allah sent prophets over and over again to wake up mankind, to change their destiny, to make them to come back to Siratul Mustaqim? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then send Allah and the Salihin? After the Hatam and Nabi, after the seal of the Prophets had passed, to remind us of the way of the seal of the Prophets, not to bring a new way. Anyone who is coming to bring a new way, it is deviation, wrong direction to Jahannam. Judging ourselves and we are asking for forgiveness and we are saying Alhamdulillah and we are saying Ya Rabbi open the way for me tomorrow. To come closer to you, that time, every night we're offering clean record, and every night we're going to get a clean barat, isn't it? So that time, we're not going to go chasing so much after holy days and holy nights, which we still do, but every day if you are doing it, that time when the holy nights come, you'll feel the rahmat more, not the nervousness, not the anxiety. You feel more relaxed because if you're studying the whole year, when the day of the exam comes, the test, everybody is nervous studying, you are very relaxed because you've done your work, isn't it? Same thing. Same thing with spirituality. Same thing with matters of the heavens. But if whole week, whole month, whole year we are not running, there is still a chance for us to run. Yes, there is still a chance. Because, Alhamdulillah, with the blessings of our Shaykh and our Prophet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is opening the way for us, we just entered into the night of the Bara, the night of Barat. The night of the accounting, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Hadith of Qudsi, as soon as the Maghrib time enters, until the Fajr time, Allah descends to the first paradises. And Allah is continuously calling to the whole of creation. Who is there who is asking for my forgiveness? I'm here to forgive. Who is there asking for my mercy? I'm here to give mercy. Who is there asking for provision? Dunya and Ahirat, I'm here to provide. And he's sending angels everywhere to look, to find the groups and the gatherings of people who are there for the sake of Allah, who are there living and breathing the garden of paradise. That if your hearts are open, you will understand this is a garden of paradise now. On this holy night, where Allah is in the first paradise, and we have people who are not running after these gardens of paradise. Those ones who have good reason, it's okay. Those ones who don't have any good reason, 
They should cry a lot. Because what is coming to a jama'at, it is different. What is coming to individual, it is different. If you say it doesn't matter, then you're saying that the company of the Prophet doesn't matter? How can you say? So many people say, ah, it's okay, why you have to go there? You can go home and you can worship, same thing. If you know Prophet ﷺ is going to be in this masjid, and there's going to be worshipping all night long, will you still say that time, ah, it's still the same, why I have to go there? I'm going to go home and worship. Will you still say, if you say that, a question mark to your faith, isn't it? Because now you're saying every company, every jamaat is the same? No. Where there is a jamaat, Ya Jami, we're saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His name, the one who gathers. Then if you're running to be in the garden of paradise, in the jamaat, in the association, where they're calling for Allah and His holy prophet, والسلام, and the awliya Allah, they come. They come and they bless that association. And even if people who come to that association, they have wrong intentions, they're going to get blessed. Because they're just there, physically. So, it is not the same. And for a real murid, you're not going to take nothing for an excuse. Of course, there are exceptions everywhere. But if you ask me, I'm not going to give myself any exception. It cannot be. Because... If there is an announcement saying, tonight, somewhere in the Catskills, anyone who comes here, we're going to give you $10 million. Say to me that you say, I'd rather stay home and make $10 million. Say to me you're not going to run. Don't say $10 million. $1 million. Don't say $1 million. Say $1,000. Don't say $1,000. Easy money, $100. Why not? Isn't it? Allah is Ghani. <laughs> we are cheap. We are stingy. Allah is Ghani. And Allah is saying, calling. Who is asking? I will give. Who is asking? I will give. Who is asking? I will give. And we are here in the association of the Prophet. We are asking him to ask for us. Whatever he asks, Allah is not going to refuse. How do we know we're in his association? Because we're in the association of Sultan al -Awliya. We're in the association of Sahib al -Sayf. Any doubt anyone has? If you have doubt, you can go anywhere you want. Right now, there are so many other associations. Right now, there are other associations. People are sitting and drinking and eating and enjoying the super moon. Eh? But they're not understanding now. What is coming? If you are sincere, then you're going to say, No, Allah is giving. Allah is giving. And Allah is going to continue to give because of the rahmat of this night and the association and our shaykh. They're going to run that time to come. Otherwise, it is a waste. It's a big waste. Because what is it that we are doing here? Nothing. We're coming, we're sitting. We're praying, we're eating a little bit, we're laughing a little bit, then we go home. What is the sacrifice that we have to make? It's not like we lived 100 years ago, 300 years ago that murids, they're traveling days to go to the Darga, through snow, through heat, through deserts, through mountains, just to go there to kiss the Shah's hand and to go back. Now, we have car, we don't even get lost because we have GPS. Huh? There's no, you see how spoiled 21st century Muslims, Murids have become. Ah, then that time when the coming year comes and things don't work out for you, <laughs> yeah. you have no one to blame except for yourself. Because tonight is the night of destiny. You're saying, but I pray so much. You can pray not five times, 50 times a day you can pray. It's not going to change that destiny. Time is up. Can a man who says, Oh, I miss uh, Fajr, but Zuhr time, I'm going to pray not four rakats, I'm going to be 40 rakats. Can he ever make up the two rakats of Fajr?
Never. He cannot. Because the time, Islam, Allah has a timing for everything. If you catch those times, if you are awake, even if you are not so good, even if you are not so strong, but you are there, and you are awake, and you are waiting, they will give it to you. Even if you are preparing yourself at that time, you are not. Then if these things don't work out, I'm saying, yeah, you can say, let me pray, I can pray, but the one who's asking to pray, I'm in need of prayer myself. <laughs> what can we do? Nothing. I cannot do anything. But these are the times, if you are going to be very intelligent, you're going to catch. Then maybe you can coast. Coast the whole year? Coasting. Relax. Because special times, you put the energy and the um, value there. We must be intelligent, inshallah rahman. And all those ones who are there in their own homes and they wish so much to be with us, that they would die to come to be with us, but they cannot, we pray for them. Those ones who have no excuse, even if they are just next door and they're not coming, as Allah likes, we cannot say anything. But like this is the night of Barat, the pen, whatever the pen has written, it cannot be changed. Hmm? But the pen writes according to our intentions and our actions. So, if we intend to be in the way of Allah, come to the associations of Allah. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit tough, but what can we do? We can only say, it's up to you. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, leave it. But tonight is a very holy night. And this is the first Barat since Shah Effendi has been veiled. And I'm feeling comes very strongly to my heart that he's going to send uh, a very big support and very big power to us. And uh, those that are stubbornly holding on for the sake of Allah, stubbornly, even if they are in pain, even if they hate it, they're holding on stubbornly to the rope of Allah, there's a time when ease will come. But people are stubborn on the wrong ways. They're stubborn in the way of the nafs. In the way of Allah, they say, everything has to be open. I have to see a divine sign for me to be there. Subhanallah. So, tonight is a very holy night. If you can, try to stay up tonight. Worship as much as you can. Ask for forgiveness and opening for us. And continuously, the rahmat is raining on tonight. And inshallah, we may catch it. Make the intention to come closer to Allah. Make the intention for the obstacles and the veils that is in front of you, between you and Allah to be removed. Don't stay up all night hoping to get more money for next year. Don't stay up all night hoping you're going to get married. Don't stay up all night praying and praying to Allah. You get better job, you get... No. This dunya, it is a carcass. It is a dead body. It is dirty. It is dirty and it is our enemy. If the enemy comes to you and brings you a glass of water, what are you going to do? Glass of water. Enemy comes. You're going to be suspicious, aren't you? You're not going to say, oh, water, I'm going to drink. You're going to at least think twice. This dunya is our enemy. If you don't know how to use this world, this dunya will lead you to Jahannam. If you know how to use this world, this dunya, in the way of Allah and His Prophet, then this dunya will lead you to Jannat. That there is more blessings coming now for those ones who have, Allah has blessed them with the material wealth in the last days. There's more blessings for them than those ones who don't have so much. Because easy way they can help. The way of Allah. 
But if you're not using it for the way of Allah and His Prophet, then this dunya, it is a poison to you. May Allah wake us up from ghaflat and make us to be more awake to what He wants from us. We have a big job ahead, here and everywhere. Here and in Peru, <laughs> in China, in Malaysia, huh? in Turkey, in Cyprus, everywhere that anyone is watching this, in India, where else? <laughs> everywhere else that their hearts are with us. It doesn't matter where you are, your hearts are strongly with us. Be ready. Hold on tightly. Don't stick around for adventure. Don't try to stick around to see just unusual things. Then if you don't see it, you're going to pull yourself back. No. But believe me, unusual things will happen. Keep our way strong, inshallah. For the sake of the Holy Prophet, for the sake of our Sahib al-Saif, al-Fatiha.